Well, hey, Heights family, uh, Pastor Justin here and my man, Serge. Uh, we are in the Sum It Up series and the thread is all things new. And I get to uh, really interview a buddy of mine, kind of because I, I, I'm excited about this, that God has done a story of renewal in your life. And will you, will you just kind of share what happened a little bit and then what did God do new in your life? Yeah. Well, it's a privilege, honestly, and it's a privilege, church, just to be able to do these kind of things where we mm -hmm. get to I just talk about our lives and not necessarily just try to reference other places or whatnot. Yeah. And for me, this means a lot because I don't get to just share my story, but I think a story for both my wife, Anna, and I, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, which, honestly, just to get into it, is we we both experienced uh, almost a, almost in the same exact season mm -hmm. um, uh, incredible pain in our past relationships and marriages actually mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of crazy but the Lord used the church mm. to not only bring us together relationally and help us meet but also to just create massive transformation in our lives personally mm -hmm. and together as we were able to partake in each other's healing process mm. and eventually just honestly start a brand new life a brand new family and mm -hmm. But honestly, it, it all started from uh, a broken heart and a broken marriage for both her and I. Mm -hmm. um, that that you know they weren't very extensive, mar long marriages, but mm -hmm. they were ones that you know we were both believers in. Yeah. You know, marriage is is for life. This is what you do. This is a covenant yeah. with the Lord. It's not something that you just get in and out of. Um, right, that's right. just that's how we grew up. That's how the value was, and uh, to be at a place where. Of abandonment yeah. and to be at a place where um, it's it's essentially like well this is I no longer want this to be told that yeah, yeah. I know nobody wants to hear no. that in anything and even in smaller things but especially in something that you go this is a lifelong thing yeah, um, yeah. now you had said something to me when we were talking prior to this that you God had done something well he you know you had this this pain this this wound, for lack of a better term, that is, is gaping in you. And God didn't just, you said he didn't just do something, he did something else. What yeah. was that? Will yeah. you tell, unpack that a little bit? For sure. Well, I think as people, we, you know, we like to see the things that are in front of us mm -hmm. and go, God, I know that in the in your goodness and might, you're going to take this and make this out of it. Yeah. And what I love is the Lord is like, I love that you have that faith, but I want you to think bigger. And, yeah. and, and in my case, I was looking at the broken marriage that was in front of me and yeah. going, God, I know you love me and you're, you're, you, what you want to do is piece this together. And even if it has cracks that, you know, we'll make it work. Yeah. But he had something completely different in mind. And he had something that was not a matter of just restoration and repair. He had something brand new. Mm -hmm. And he didn't just take a broken heart, but he gave me a brand new one. And, yeah. and I think that's the God we serve. And, and that's not to say, of course, it's the Father's heart to restore yeah. marriages that are, that are to be restored. Well, but it also takes two people. It takes two. Yeah. And, and sometimes if that's not the case, he's like, oh, I've got something for you, son. Yeah. But it's going to take you letting go releasing which was that was my season of learning to let go and surrender because i have something for you that you don't even know you can't anticipate and, yeah. and that is what i get to live in today in yeah. that promise so if you had to challenge our church with anything what would be the lesson that you would say hey, this, this is the one thing i would challenge you guys with what would that be out of your story i would say detach victory from the thing that it's that is right in front of you because his victory is so much more than we can anticipate sometimes the victory that you're thinking is just a small thing mm -hmm. it's, it's hoping for you know that promotion that mm -hmm. little thing mm -hmm. when the lord's like no, no no i've got riches mm -hmm. and that's what the kingdom realm is it's yeah. not just like a little bit better hopefully no struggles it's like no 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 I'm doing a new thing. Yeah. And it's that. And I think separating our identity from that. That's good. From just getting by or being just barely in, but to living and thriving and freedom. And in, um, this is what the gospel is. Yeah, that's good. So. Well, thank you for joining us. For joining us, Heights Church. Thank you for joining me, Serge. And uh, God bless you guys. We'll see you next time. Love you guys.